Welcome back to your number one stop for TSO2, a new Genesis information gameplay how to blah blah blah. You know how it goes. We are here for something super super exciting uh, that went down here recently and have just abandoned into something any more so. And it originally started out with a semi leak that ended up happening from Sega on the live stream they did with Video Game Awesome. And now it has evolved into some people actually being able to glitch around and decouple some stuff. Uh, so this is, of course, a very high possibility of being kind of full lore for either later or maybe the upcoming a Fight with Dark Falls in the hill in the next couple weeks. So keep that in mind. If you're not interested in it, uh, move along. But before you do that and you leave, make sure you do thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the bells and all that jazz. And for everybody else that is still here, make sure to do the same, especially if you haven't already uh, subscribed. So let's go ahead. Let's get into this. I'm going to go ahead and show you the clip from the live stream and then we will go from there. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Shall we? This is this is the desert. Uh, it's empty, but also not empty because there's a lot of things like that pyramid over there. Like the what? Pyramid. pyramid. Yeah, oh, uh, there is pyramids. Yeah, you want to go check See that you out? Later. Yeah. Where's the entrance to this place? Um, yeah, well, you know, it's it's a big place. It's a big pyramid. And the uh, yeah, it's it's big. That's all I can say about it's it, honestly. Tree. It's a mystery, honestly. But yeah, uh, so there's this mysterious pyramid, which is going to be uh, content actually oh it, but we can't access the content right now because the content is locked behind some other content that we would have to do later on so the pyramid is just a nice cool thing to look at for now and as you can see though in that quip sega representative dave uh, was talking about how there is going to be future content in the side of the pyramid which we all kind of figure personally i originally thought coming into a tank that was going to be a area where the final boss were going to be you know the snake monster thing but obviously that did not work out uh, so it does seem like there's going to be something tied to doing content before and then unlocking it uh, which is going to get into our net thing here and then i will Put my theory to ghetto here, and then you can add well. Uh, but lucky enough, there were two Japanese players who ended up posting videos about actually glitching away underneath the pyramid. Uh, one of them seemed like it was just playing and just fell through the, the actual environment. The second one, not 100% sure how they got into it because the video began after the fact. Uh, but the two stream balls off hand, and Toga Burrito, I'm probably a butchering that. Horribly, either way you go, I will have a link to both of these below. As well as a another player, not 100% sure how to put that in the name since it's all in kanji or kanakana or something of the sort. Uh, but like I said, I will have a link to both of the channel below in the comments. So make sure you check them out and uh, give them some love for actually posting it up. Uh, so yeah, don't know exactly how they got in there beyond just falling through the universe. But let's go ahead, let's hop into this. Uh, let actually check out the video real quick and show you some of the stuff. Uh, that seemed to be actually going on uh, with this. So as we come on over here, and we can go ahead and we can see here uh, that, of course, uh, Milk Hill or uh, Togo Burrito was, as you can see, just walking around. I do not know what platform they're playing on. They might be playing on the Xbox ones that we do have control and support. But I don't know. But as you can see, they ends up glitching and down uh, below. Uh, into an area that you will see will have an actual cave system leading into it and obviously a cutoff point uh, as a very a very odd little computer signal here uh, activate. My theory here is it will be a called the cave we will go into to fight Dark Falls and then the little computer here or whatever the thing is will probably be the thing that's going to trigger the intent for the origin quest or just the intent as a whole uh especially since the cave just pretty much just straight up ends and then our second video here uh also kind of go into it but the thing is about the as you can see they pretty much enter it pretty much that same way and you can actually follow the cave uh back up to a wobbly around the beach area where it looked like we actually gonna have an entrance so my overall theory here is going to be 
more than likely what we get the new origin quest in uh, February of Weird Dark Falls. I have a feeling this is going to be a two-part uh, story type thing. Since the Sega employee did say a content that then will unlock other content inside the pyramid. So I'm personally affecting a probably a story mission. Uh, well, you know, of course, as we see in the trailer, when they activate the giant gun uh, to fight Dark Falls, uh, probably what's going to happen is they're going to shoot it, he's going to fall, and probably open a way downhill inside of the tunnels uh, that we then going to have to actually travel to uh, to unlock it or unlock the story or the origin quest itself. I have a feeling that origin quest is probably going to be one of them origin quests that is going to be the fourth time you're going to do it in the main story like we have seen in past origin quests and then after that will probably be available in the rotation as well. But since we do have this actual cave system and the computer happening and also the whole content before content thing from Sega. That in my guess here, we're going to mainly probably have a solo fight with Dark Falls before we actually get the origin quest. But then again, we will have to wait and see here. Uh, but we do know at least we are going to be going in the pyramid at some point, probably very, very soon. Uh, and like I said, the main reason why I think it's the origin quest with Dark Falls is since the content seem to have been added either in the last update the update before since you know stuff do get added in the background here and knowing that dark fall is taking place in that like hologram area similar to cocoons and since the pyramid pretty much look just like that so that's why my theory is this is going to be actually tied to dark falls either way it go if i am correct about this we're going to be finding that out very very soon because once again that update is coming sometime in february and honestly, I can't wait to see. And also, who knows, that might actually open up the chance uh, to start having more uh, dungeon areas as well popping up. Uh, but we will have to wait and see uh, beyond that. But for the time being, what do you guys think this is? And uh, do you think that Sega Employee Day was technically speaking about Dark Falls and the whole pyramid thing? Or do you guys think the pyramid might be for later content down the road? Let me know in the comments below. And while you all down there, make sure you go do the thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the bells. And if you want to be like all the awesome people, check out of course, the membership by hitting that join button below. Or by coming over to a patreon.com slash macon and get you a whole bunch of goodies. And also support the channel and feed Luna because, you know. Luna is not fat enough as a cat yet. Uh, so with that, that will go ahead and do it for me. And I will go ahead and see you all in the comments.